Okay, so good morning, JR, and thank you for giving me your time today for this interview. So, how are you? Uh, uh, good morning, ma'am. Thank you for your time also. I'm okay. Okay. Um, JR, can you tell me something about yourself? Yes. I am a teacher by profession, coaching about digital literacy, making graphics, arts, and design, video editing, photography, writing, and content for my YouTube vlog is some of those things that I want to do in life. And I think this interest or hobbies I have can have a great, greater impact on my clients and, and on my future job in the virtual assistant industry. Actually, I have been doing virtual assistant services for three years now. Wow. I have experience of being a social media manager for some of my uh, tester client for some of my business friends doing brand logo commission as one of my favorite. I also have experience in making videos for awareness, for commercial, for competition, school, school competition, yeah, municipal competition. Yeah. As, as part of my job today, I teach computer hardware and software as well as I provide uh, digital literacy training for teachers and students how to use educational software materials such as Google Figures, Photoshop, e-learning materials, for now the usage of Canva, etc. Perhaps you could hire me, Ma'am Ma Raya, as your information technology guy or guru. By the okay. way, Ina, I am JRC Jacamos, 25 years old from Limay, Bata. Okay. Um, from those skill set that you have laid out, what do you consider as your strength? Yeah, I'm doing the job perfectly, beautiful with my heart. I put 100% into the task and work it as needed to accomplish in on time. I'm into detail. Sometimes I go beyond of my client expectation. I want to share to you, Ma'am uh, Raya, before I got the job, I evaluate first my skill and whether, whether I was an expert in this field. I believe if you have a lot of knowledge about what you are doing, you can provide a quality of service and also in order to make a favorable impression on the client. Don't waste your time and don't waste also their time. Maybe I should consider this one of my strengths. Evaluate your capacity and use this to your advantages. No, I'm a team player and maybe I can be a company asset. I am good at communication. I'm... I'm I'm expert on dealing with people with a harmonious relationship with them. I am good at guiding a person, especially students or a beginner. I always have it in mind that I want to mold a student to be better than me or to be like me. I always put love, Ma'am Raya, into my job. Okay, thank you for that. And um, with those strengths that you have laid out, um, do you have some weaknesses? Yeah, no. Um, sometimes I feel conscious in writing, especially in grammar. I know I can create high quality content, but yes. in our culture, English grammar is too big deal. That yeah. is why my <laughs> favorite uh, virtual assistant tool used today is something effective for writing, like Grammarly. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I have a premium account na, but, but, I, I, but I don't not always depend on it. These tools are to correct errors, but you should still double-check the substance, the feeling, the meaning of your writing. And sometimes, if I have time, I watch writing tutorials on YouTube, engage to... Uh, personal right engage to other teachers especially uh, writing instructor it's too i think it's too minimal but this is what i want to improve 
next yeah. is uh next is to i'm not too expert so far for now in my ba services i always make a gap in what yes. service i have to offer that's why i'm continuing to learn about this especially in web designing processes thankfully many private and government sectors provide free on the job training for those of us working as virtual assistant yes <laughs> that's is to that's to say there's no reason not to improve our abilities or skill we must be devoted to have time and effort on improving our skills exactly yeah so i think you are a lifelong learner jr but um i want to know what are you uh, um, what are the other things that you are studying at the moment yeah i'm studying at the moment the social media marketing and wordpress uh, website processing design especially for oh. e-commerce and uh, teaching uh, wordpress for my student Okay, so um, do you consider um, WordPress development your freelance or service specialization? Yes, ma'am. I, I see the lot potential in online today. We are now in digital uh, world where, where, where computers everywhere. We are now in internet and yes. everything is online. Exactly. And especially this quarantine, there's a lot of uh, 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 business owner uh, want to have their uh, online store and want to have their Facebook page or some uh, social media that boost their sales and marketing ways. Yes. Um, okay. So, and with that, this project actually requires about 40 hours a week. Do you have an availability for that? And can you work on an ESC time zone? Yes, ma'am. We have 160 hours per week. I believe that if the project required 40 hours per week, I can manage this time and work on the project for the shortest amount of time, especially for the projects that require ASAP or ASAP, or I can do work above 40 hours a week. I manage my full-time job and freelancing by making a schedule and following it accordingly. You know, I prepare... Okay working from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. And sometimes I use Saturday for furnishing, furnishing, for reporting to the client and completing the project. For my international client, I prepare to work on the project for a month. I will make a contract for how many days are needed for the project. I think it's, it's okay to work on a project for three to four weeks. To, and to be organized in time, I use Calendly for scheduling, Kaggle for time tracking. And, and also, the best I can offer is to finish the project on time. Yeah. Um, and what is your service fee range regarding the project? My service fee range, um, in working a monthly project, I... Uh, the best Your investment day, okay? of my clients is fifty dollar to 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 eighty, I think, a month. And okay. I and um, today I'm I'm just starting. I I the best service rate I can offer is five dollar to eight dollar for small projects for R, you mean uh, for R. yeah okay so that is quite an um, competitive rate and do you have a long-term goal as a freelancer jr yes ma'am i mentioned earlier earlier i'm doing this job for three years from now i decided that to be in this field because uh, i see a lot of opportunity in this digital industry where we're all done virtually and online. There's a lot of um, um, businesses that provide a job for us working in 
uh, working a virtual assistant or working a social media manager, a web web developer. Yeah. yeah I, um, about the job requirements that we have posted, I believe that you have read that. Um, what is your understanding regarding the description? Yes, Ma'am Raya. I fully understand the job description and what position I'm applying for. I'm here today to apply for the position as a social media manager. And I can also offer a lot of services as your personal BA. I fully understand the description of social media manager or how to become a successful social media manager because this niche is not quite far of what I know today. No, in this field, you need to have knowledge of engaging with people, having a social media marketing strategies or digital marketing technique, and be able to manage an account effectively with high competitiveness. In this job, you need to be flexible and have, have devoted time to the task. You have, you have also need to be qualified for the position by providing and showing your, your potential or skill related to uh, managing social media accounts or simply managing a virtual assistant job. It is very important to be successful in this position. And I'm your perfect choice, Ma'am Raya, for this project. Yes, for sure. Okay, so JR, I'm done with my last question and I think this is the most important one. Um, I would just want to know, how do you take negative feedback? I'm not too perfect. No, I, I, I uh, commit mistake. Yeah. I always open in opinions and feedback of others. Yes. I know I am in the field of teaching that requires to be professional and to be perfect but i think to be more uh, uh more 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 growth to your uh field you need to listen to others and and it's in it's okay to be to to fail and commit errors because i think failures is an event never me never the person no, and yes. there's always a room for improvement. For sure. Um, these constructive criticisms help us to grow and help us to process and um, help us to do our best, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Perfectly uh, okay. right. Um, thank you, JR, again for your time today. And I had I had a fun during I had a fun time during this interview. And do you have other questions for me or about the project? None, ma'am. So okay. far, none. Okay, so we'll just let you know regarding the result of this interview. And thank you so much again. You can stop the recording now. Thank you so much. Well